In a statement, Pruach said the Marape government has taken more debt to fund recurrent expenditure. Pruach said the closure of the Pogera mine has also impacted PNG with the country's real GDP contracting. He added that arbitrary policy shifts from resources driven by the Petroleum Minister Karangakua has adversely impacted investor confidence and the nation's overall economic outlook. Pruach claims the downward trend in agricultural output since 2011 has accelerated under the Marabi government, while 40 to 50,000 jobs have been destroyed by policy decisions taken in the past 18 months. The National Alliance leader said the path of self-destruction began in the early days when conflicting statements were made about the Papua LNG project agreement in the second half of last year, forcing Papua LNG, Pinyang and Wafi Golpu to disband employees and these projects placed in hibernation. Pruach said the public has been given a false sense of progress with alluring slogans such as Take Back PNG and promises to turn PNG into the richest black Christian nation, when in reality thousands of families are being forced into poverty. The former minister said a number of colleagues who were ministers in the Marape government have termed the current policy scenario take PNG backwards, a course they say they are determined to reverse through a vote of no confidence. Cedric Pajole, TV1 News.